Two years after she lost her leg in the horrifying Alton Towers roller coaster crash, Vicky Balch has found love with a Paralympian. The 22-year-old has reportedly fallen for countrophile presenter and athlete Steve Brown who she met on the BBC documentary, Without Limits. The grueling challenge saw the pair trek some 900 miles across Vietnam alongside five others with physical disabilities and form a close bond along the way. Friends of Ms. Balch told the mirror the pair were happy and positive about the future. Ms. Balch, from Preston, was so badly injured when the Smiler ride collided with a stationary carriage in 2015 that she needed her right leg amputated below the knee. But determined to overcome her disability, Ms. Balch has gone on to forge a career as a successful model, even walking for a top label during London Fashion Week earlier this month. Her latest endeavor saw her drive along the Hokai Min Trail with Mary Russell, who was born with the most common type of dwarfism, an Olympic wheelchair rugby captain Steve Brown, who was paralyzed from the chest down 12 years ago. On their first day of the Vietnam trip, the car began to struggle in the heat, and as they climbed a steep mountain it quickly lost power and veered dangerously towards the safety barriers that lined the verge. Quick thinking Ms. Balch managed to bring the car to a stop. But the instant she knew she was safe she broke down in tears as memories of the Smiler crash, in which four other people were seriously injured, rushed over her. It just brought a lot back, she told cameras. Ms. Balch has said she took part in the journey in a bid to prove she can live a normal life and be more than the girl from Alton Towers. Steve Brown was left paralyzed at the age of 24 when he broke his spine after tripping and falling over the balcony at a friend's house in Germany in 2005. But the Keens sportsman turned his life around and went on the captain the wheelchair rugby team at the 2012 Olympics. The 36-year-old from Kent is now a wildlife presenter and hosts Countrophile.